Perform hand hygiene and put on gloves. Place a towel or linen saver pad on the patient's chest to prevent any fluid from dripping onto their clothes. Use a torch or flashlight to assess the nasal passages and decide which nostril is the most patent for tube insertion. To determine the length of nasogastric tube to be inserted, use it like a measuring device. Measure from the tip of the nose to the earlobe and then down to the xiphoid process. Note this length. Lubricate the insertion end of the tube generously with a lubricating jelly, preferably with linocaine. Gently insert the nasogastric tube into the nostril and advance it along the floor of the nose. Once you reach the nasopharynx, you may feel a slight resistance. If resistance is met, rotating the nasogastric tube can help. However, do not force the tube. If the patient is conscious, ask the patient to perform swallowing movements. Continue to gently push and advance the nasogastric tube down the esophagus. It may be useful to look inside the patient's mouth intermittently to ensure that the tube isn't coiling there. If the patient becomes distressed or gags, pause and allow the patient to relax. Continue to insert the nasogastric tube until the predetermined mark measured earlier is reached. The presence of the nasogastric tube in the stomach can be confirmed by air insufflation and auscultation over the stomach area. Wrap adhesive plaster around the nasogastric tube and fix it to the bridge of the nose. Remove the gloves and discard them. Perform hand hygiene. Document the procedure.